What's going on YouTube? I am back with another tournament match. This one will hopefully go better than the last one. I just got bopped in a, sorry, I had to turn the music down a little bit. I just got bopped in the Turbo 3 tournament. I wasn't like putting too much into that tournament. I did, I did bring a bad team, but like my opponent just completely outplayed me. He played a lot better. But this is a tournament I really want to do well in. So I'm hoping, uh, Hoping we get a win today. So basically it's the regional tournament. You can only use Gen 2 Pokemon right now. And I am accepting a invite from uh, my opponent. And he has brought a stall team, which I kind of thought about. I thought he might bring one, honestly. So <clears throat> what I actually did is bring a Parish Trapping Qua or Parish Trapping Politoed with Rest. So I think that should really, really help the cause, but I still have to be careful th for things like Mantine because it has the uh, water absorb ability. So good luck, have fun to Kaori. And I think I just want to lead with my <coughs> uh, Raikou. I also brought a Celebi with Trick on it. So hopefully that will be really great against this team. So I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch right out into my, uh, hmm. I think I just want to go right out into my Politoed, honestly. He sets up his Stealth Rock. I'm going to go right for the Whirlpool and hope he doesn't go into his Mantine. Nice. So we have trapped the Blissey, and this is going to be a dead Blissey. I was so happy I brought this Politoed. I was like, I can make a rain team, and then I was like, what do I do against stall? And then I was like, I can bring that Azumarill set, but on a Politoed, because that will be the tits. It will be so good against him. <laughs> so basically, taking Toxic, but we can just rest that off, then we will have uh, one turn of Seismic Toss, and then we can just switch out this turn. So I can just go ahead and switch out right into, what's well, something that doesn't care too, too much about its health. I'm gonna go right into my Scizor because my Scizor can roost it off. But thankfully we get rid of his Blissey. I also wanted to avoid that Toxic. So getting rid of his Blissey is so, so, so good. So this is really off to a great start right now. Uh, Skarmory probably just wants to spike stack. Unfortunately, I did not bring any hazard removal, which is a big, big problem on my part. But uh, he, he really is going to struggle against my Raikou as well, if I can get rid of his Quagsire. And I am choice specs on my uh, Raikou with Weather Ball, so that might hit the Quagsire really hard. So we will just have to see. Uh, this is a pretty obvious switch, but he just needs to set up his, uh, his spikes. What I can do is I can trick my uh, my choice specs off my Celebi, and then I can use that to get my Politoed back in at uh, full health. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure he just has an easy Quagsire or Celebi play here. That's also another good play. Uh, but that lets me... Ooh, what do I want to go into? I think Scizor is my best play here. Uh, it goes for the Leech Seed, unfortunately misses, but what that's going to let me do is I can either knock off his Skarmory, which I think I might want to do, or I can double into my Raikou. Yeah, I'm just going to go right for a knockoff on his Skarmory for whatever he had, probably a Leftovers. It was, I was thinking either Leftovers or, uh, or a Rocky Helmet. Uh... SD Scizor is also going to do really, really, really well in this match, so that is something I want to keep in mind. Uh, so I can bring out my... I don't... I don't know if he's Brave Bird or if he is a uh, counter. So I'm going to bring out my Politoed and just kind of scout for it <clears throat> and see if I can waste some of these... Uh, sleep turns. So this is going to be really tough because I didn't bring that hazard removal. Definitely something I should have brought uh, because I was afraid of him uh, bringing 
a stall team, but I was thinking uh, if he didn't bring stall, like I kind of brought like a hyper offensive rain team, so uh, it might be better if I uh, just didn't bring. I don't. I don't know. Like that. That's a terrible excuse. Like I absolutely, definitely should have brought. Uh, absolutely, definitely should have brought. Hazard removal. That was so stupid on my part. I'm also going to turn this music down a little more. Uh, so he has a pretty easy switch into either Man- I, I assume Mantine, to be honest. Uh, Mantine's something I definitely want to get rid of for, uh, for Politoed. This is actually not looking very good for me right now. Whatever he goes into, I'm going to drop my Z Drago on it. Uh, I think that's just out of range of a two hit KO. I'm going to go for a Draco Meteor and hope it does enough. I'm pretty sure it doesn't though. Hmm. If I, I wonder if I'm did I, I think I'm modest, honestly. Let me go check real fast. Let me see. Yeah, I'm modest. So, uh, if I could power through this, though, that would be so, so great. And if I can get him to switch out right now, that's honestly what I need to do. Because I can't afford to switch very much now. Nice. Goes into Celebi to take that, and uh, that's honestly the bomb. So, I just need to make sure I don't let his... Uh, his Mantine in on anything anymore. So what he can do here, he can Leech Seed. I want to get up my own Stealth Rock. I'm also uh, Choice Specs. So yeah, I, I figured he might want to double into that. And Giga Drain will do a lot, or I can trick this thing, which are both uh, pretty good plays, I think. I'm gonna go for the Giga Drain. If he's faster than me, then yeah, there's no way he would have been faster than me. All right, so we get the Giga Drain off. It's at least some damage on it. It's not looking good for me right now because I have so many hazards on my side of the field, but uh, not completely unwinnable, you know? So last time he went out into his Celebi, his other good play is to go out into Quagsire. So either way, I think I want to bring out my Celebi right now. Yeah, it goes out into his Quagsire and I'm just going to trick something because no matter what comes out on his team, I don't think it wants to be tricked. He probably knows I'm choice, uh, choice specs because of the damage I did to his Mantine. <sighs> yeah, so brings out his own Celebi here. I get leftovers, he gets choice specs, and I'm just gonna set up my Stealth Rock because I need that to start punishing his switches. Uh, Celebi is going to do more in this game than I'd originally intended because it's really gonna help take down the, uh, to take down that Quagsire. So he Giga Drains me. Ah, that really, really stinks because how much do hazards do on switching? Hmm. I might die on switching. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go out into my hair across. I don't know what he wants to do here. He might whirlwind me. I think whirlwind would probably be his best play. Uh, if he has Brave Bird, that's another good play. I'm going to go straight for a close combat though, in case he whirlwinds me, or in case he roosts or something. Yeah, goes for the roost, and I did 58, so I can't really be coming in on hazards. Yikes, that was so dumb of me not bring. I keep making stupid team decisions. Like last time I, like last game, I didn't bring any rocks or spikes or anything. That's just me, like being nervous about the game and not correctly team prepping. Like, I can't believe that I didn't bring any sort of hazard removal on this team. Yeah, so he whirlwinds right there, which is a smart play. I'm just going to go directly for a 
Hydro Pump, I think. I don't really want to predict the Mantine coming in. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna Draco. Draco on the Celebi there. And I'm just going to clear smog this thing now. Cause I can. Uh, the clear smog was in case he brought a Suicune, which he did. And I'm just going to spam this now. He's probably sub maybe. Please don't be sub. He's sub. Ah jeez. Yikes. Uh, I'm just going to bring out my Raikou and start going for Thunders. Yeah, he's protected. Yeah, so he's Vincoon. This stinks. And this is all my fault. This is just me being a dumb player, not going for smart things. His Mantine's at like full health. Uh, I think Heracross might be my best play. My last hope is to either... Here's what I can do actually. I'm gonna go Celebi, and I'm gonna go straight for Healing Wish. And I'm going to Healing Wish my Politoed because he might be able to 1v1 some of the things on uh, his team. And then my hope is to get my Scizor in at the very end and then he can't phase me out with, uh, with Skarmory. So then I can just keep Swords Dancing and get up to plus four and then maybe win the game from there. But that would... I would have to get rid of his Quagsire though. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to keep something to get rid of his Quagsire. So I'm gonna have to keep this Politoed around somehow. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight for a Parish Song because uh, if he if he subs, it goes through his sub. Yeah, so can't hurt me. He can continue to calm mine, that's fine. But I need just to keep something that will help me to power through the... Uh, to power through the Quagsire. And that could be Politoed. The only issue is that Mantine stops Politoed from uh, from doing that. So I'm gonna go for a rest so that I can live next time I come in. And if he burns me, yeah, so I have to switch out now. I'm trying to decide if Heracross or King, I think Kindra is the more expendable member. Yeah, so Kindra goes out down there if I would have brought Stone Edge on my uh, hair across, this would have been really great. But I have to go just straight for the facade or the knockoff. Uh, I think facade. Yeah, he still has his left over. I'm going to go for the facade and hope that doesn't do enough, unfortunately. And yeah, that seems like the end of the game. Because I'm pretty sure he'll outspeed my scissor. Uh... And even if he doesn't, I don't think knockoff will kill. So unfortunately, we lose two back-to-back -to -back tournament games. I it was a hundred percent because I did not bring uh, hazard removal, and that is just me being an idiot. So that's the way it happens, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go for a roost here. Yeah, it goes for the haze. That's pretty much the end. GG, homie. <sighs> what I've noticed, though, is there are a lot of great Stallmons in the first gen. There's a lot of great Stallmons in the second gen. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be in the rest of the tournament to see if there are great Stallmons the rest of the day. But uh, that does offer me more time to do like OU lives and stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to be focusing on in the future. Uh, I do, I have entered a couple more tournaments recently, I think. I think I'll have to look upon those, but uh, unfortunately we lost, and that's the way it happens. But you know, that's, uh, again, to reiterate, it's me being stupid, and I've learned a lot from today, uh, not bringing smart teams, and just how to prep better for tournament matches. You know, it's not the ladder anymore. So I have to uh, 
really just be prepared for everything and have counter checks to uh, everything and just always be prepared to remove houses. I can't believe I didn't bring that. So that's it though. Uh, great learning experience, especially because these aren't big tournaments. These are just like for fun, you know? So hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Peace out and see you all next time.